Okay, something is a little out of place here. A Chicago commuter locomotive in Atlanta, Georgia. Or maybe, on second thought, it fits right in with CSX's newly refurbished SD70 ACs. Either way, we're going to take a look at the newest member of the Metro fleet. That's coming up next. Atlanta, Georgia, home to MARTA with trains running under and above the streets. But here at ground level, the freight railroads dominate. However, in other parts of the U.S., the commuter rail scene looks a little different. We'll start our adventure at CSX's Howell Yard. This is train M542. It goes from Rice Yard in Waycross, Georgia to Etowah, Tennessee. Its crew has just picked up a long cut of cars hauling maintenance of way equipment. Right in front of those cars is what Metro designates as an SD70 MACH. It's being towed right now and is not under power. It'll eventually end up in Chicago. After picking up those maintenance of way cars, M542's crew is headed back to the rest of their train. We're now at CSX's Tilford Yard, not far from Howell. The first thing you'll notice about this Metro engine is its striking paint scheme. It pays tribute to the Regional Transportation Authority, or RTA, which will soon celebrate its 50th anniversary. It was formed in 1974. The RTA currently oversees Metra, the Chicago Transit Authority, or CTA, and the Pace Suburban Bus. Metra, or Metropolitan Rail, is the service mark of the commuter rail division of the RTA. The history of commuter rail in the Chicago area is long and very interesting, but maybe we'll save that for a future video. It took some time for M542's crew to shove back to their train and couple up, but they're now back on the move. In the lead, four big GE 6-axle diesel electric locomotives. And by the way, when I say diesel electric, I mean these units have a diesel engine that generates electricity to power electric traction motors that move the wheels. Currently, railroads prefer diesels with AC or alternating current traction motors as opposed to DC or direct current. AC traction motors are reliable, provide good adhesion, are durable, and require less maintenance. General electric locomotives like these are the ones you'll see the most often hauling long-distance freight trains. But Metro 502 was originally manufactured by General Motors' Electromotive Division. That company is now called Electromotive Diesel and is owned by Progress Rail, a subsidiary of Caterpillar. At this point, we're a little bit north of Tilford and the crew is about to stop the train and tie it down. A big thanks to the engineer for moving the train up here so I could get a good look. I'm not sure if that was intentional or not, but either way, it was appreciated. Okay, it's now time to take a look at some of the features of the SD70 MACH. In an October 12, 2022 press release on the Metro website, the first rebuilt locomotive was officially revealed to the world. Metro posted these pictures of number 500 on their Twitter account. These locomotives were once designated as EMD SD70 MAC or MAX. The Metro units are being rebuilt by Progress Rail. I would think this is happening at the Progress Rail facility in Patterson, which is a small town in South Georgia, not far from Waycross. The Metro Board of Directors approved a $70.9 million contract to buy 15 of the rebuilt units in January of 2019, according to the Metro press release. They also said they have an option to buy an additional 27 units if they're satisfied with the performance and if funding is available. Metro's CEO and executive director said these locomotives will replace some of the oldest engines in their fleet. He also said Metro expects to see a significant increase in reliability and decrease in emissions. Metro also said these SD70 MACH locomotives have a similar design to Metro's F59 units, meaning they'll be able to use the same parts inventory and they won't need different maintenance and training programs. All right, that's what Metro told the general public, but let's take a look at some of the features that rail fans might appreciate. Unlike freight locomotives, these have connections for head and power, which provides electricity for things like lighting, heating, and air conditioning in passenger coaches. The electricity is generated by the diesel engine. 
The traction motors here are AC, but according to a Trains.com article from November 1st, 2022, the axles on each truck that are closest to the fuel tank are unpowered. This means that one of the inverters that would usually be used for a traction motor can now be used for head-end power. To put it simply, inverters change direct current into alternating current. These flared radiators are also a new addition. According to the Trains.com article I just referenced, these had to be added for additional engine cooling requirements to meet Tier 3 emissions standards. As for lighting, this thing has standard headlights and ditch lights, plus red marker lights. Remember, Metro will be operating this thing in push-pull service. It also has what looks like a red beacon light, and possibly an LED gyro light. You can also see the unit has cameras mounted in several locations. Plus, a shiny new horn. Maybe you horn experts out there can tell us what type it is. There's no doubt, this locomotive is a little bit different from its freight counterparts. CSX has also refurbished and reactivated some of its old ST70 Max. The work on those was done at the company's Huntington, West Virginia shops. CSX designates these as ST70 ACs. The lightning bolt on CSX locomotives indicates they have AC traction motors. 4588 was built for Conrail in 1998. There are no flared radiators here, and all the axles are powered. These new Metro locomotives, like 502, also used to pull freight. According to the November 1st Trains.com article I referenced earlier, the Metro units will be former Kansas City Southern and TFM engines from the Progress Rail fleet. Quite a few members of that fleet were stored here in Thomaston, Georgia when I visited in January 2022. Who knows, maybe these will get a second chance. I'm not sure when these new Metro locomotives will enter revenue service, but I'm sure they will be quite a sight to see when they do. You know, Metro has a long history of six axle diesels from secondhand EMD E units to the EMD F40C. But their workhorse and legend will always be the four axle EMD F40PH. You know, I've never actually been to Chicago, but it's definitely on my list. Anyway, that's it for now. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.